this class we discuss about fault calculations the aim of short circuit study is to determine fault current bus voltages and line currents under fault condition it is also used to determine ratings of circuit breaker and power transformers and other power equipments current transformers and potential transformers faults are classified as number one shunt fault that is short circuit this fault involve power conductor or conductor to ground or short circuit between conductors shunt to faults are characterized by increasing in current and the fall in voltage and the frequency the second is series fault that is open circuit when circuits are controlled by fuse or any device which does not open all three phases one or more phases may be opened while the other phases or phase is closed series faults are characterized by increasing in voltage and frequency and the fall in current in the faulted phases causes of faults number 1 lightning number 2 heavy winds number 3 trees falling across the lines number 4 vehicles colliding with the towers or poles number 5 line breaks number 6 failure of insulation ill effects of faults heavy current flows through the equipment causing considerable damage to the equipment and the interruption of service to the consumers importance of fault calculations to find the voltage and current distribution throughout the system during fault condition so that protective devices may be set to detect the fault and to isolate the faulty portion of the system so as to minimize the harmful effect of such contingencies in power system faults are classified as symmetrical fault and asymmetrical fault symmetrical fault means fault on the power system which gives rise to symmetrical currents that is equal fault currents in the lines with 120 degree displacement is called symmetrical fault symmetrical fault is a rarely occurring fault symmetrical fault is the most severe and impose heavy duty on the circuit breaker another is asymmetrical fault asymmetrical Unsymmetrical fault means when such a fault occurs, it gives rise to unsymmetrical currents. That is, the magnitude of fault currents in the three lines are different, having unequal displacement. Unsymmetrical faults are frequently occurring fault. Majority of faults on power system are unsymmetrical nature. Generally, the fault currents are much larger than the load current. and therefore the load currents can be neglected during fault calculations assumptions are made in fault calculations number 1 the emf of all the generators are assumed to be 1 per unit number 2 shunt elements in the transformer model that account for magnetizing current and core loss is neglected Number 3 shunt capacitance of the transmission lines are neglected number 4 system resistance is neglected only inductive reactance of the system is taken into account in fault calculations fault current can be easily done by applying thevenin's theorem it is only necessary to find out open circuit emf and the network impedance as seen from the fault point in most of the calculations the open circuit emf can be assumed to be 1 per unit steps involving in fault calculations number 1 draw the single line diagram number 2 select a common base and find out per unit reactance of generators transformers lines etc as referred to common base Number three, mention the per unit reactance values in the single line diagram. Number four, find the reactance of the system as seen from the fault point. Number five, find the fault current and the fault MEA in per unit. Number six, 
convert these per unit values into actual values. Number seven, calculate the current and voltage distribution throughout the network. Thanks for listening. Thank you.